Hi guys, I'm Beth. And I'm here today with Tara from Healthcare Lighting to talk a little bit about Care222 technology. Tara, thanks for joining us. Of course, thanks for having me. As you know, UV products are more important now than ever before, especially as we are starting to see different strains of SARS-CoV-2. But we also have to think about other pathogens that could be mitigated, such as MRSA, E. coli, C. diff, influenza, and so many more. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about what CARE222 technology is and how does it work? Sure. CARE222 uses far UVC light that is filtered to the 222 nanometer wavelength that can inactivate pathogens, meaning viruses and bacteria that are both airborne and on surfaces. So is it working all day and is it safe for humans to be in the space while CARE222 is running? Yes, and we can think of CARE222 as a gentle rain shower that is continually reducing pathogens in the space all throughout the day. It is appropriate for occupied spaces as it's working at energy levels that do not penetrate living tissue in the skin or beyond the tear layer in the cornea of the eye. And are there any government guidelines and regulations that these types of products must abide by? Yes, so there's the ACGIH, which is a group of scientists that tell us what are the appropriate levels of UV that can be in occupied spaces. Then there's UL, the EPA, and it's also important to note that CARE222 is risk group exempt, meaning that it can be used in those occupied spaces. So how would someone know how many CARE222 units to use in a space? It's a really good question, and we do have software for that and we have a way of calculating how many fixtures or CARE222 modules we would need in order to reduce X percent of pathogens in a space. It's actually calculated similar to the way that we run lighting calculations, but UV is not visible to the human eye. And we can actually equate irradiance to foot candle levels. So the CARE222 modules are being incorporated into a variety of fixtures then? Yes, that's correct. And right now, Healthcare Lighting is offering three products that include CARE222 modules. And then later this year, CARE222 will be incorporated into recessed trossers as well. So if you're looking for more information on CARE222, please be sure to reach out to one of us here at WML for scientific studies, spec sheets, and UV layouts. Thank you so much, Tara. Of course, thank you for having me. But also remember that there are two other UV technologies in addition to CARE222 that Healthcare Lighting is offering. And that includes Evol Air and PulseX. Until next time. Bye. Ha! 22, 22, hut! Take one. Care 222 technology is, and how does it work? Oh, shoot. You can read from the butt. If oh. You <laughs> Care 222, take two. Oh, that's a lot of twos. So tell us a little bit more about what Care t hmm. As you know, Care 2. <sighs> wow. So tell us a little bit more about what Care 22. <laughs> We're ready. Take three. Just one trip. trip. Well, I don't know. know. I know. Something there. Woo! An email bing. Could have been mine. Uh oh, was it mine? <laughs> Could have been mine. Oh, sh it was me. Take four. Okay, no. Just kidding. Oh. Put a nice little heart around it. <laughs>